everybody, it's Casey Berard from mindfulhealth.ca and thank you for joining me for my mindfulness series. So we've been talking about the path of mindfulness and there's the present moment, there's the past, and there's the future. Um, I have other videos on the present and the, the past. We're going to talk about the future now. The future can create oodles of anxiety and worry and stress and pressure and stories like how will I do that? What will go wrong? Have I planned enough? Will I have enough money? How much time will I need? Will we be, still be together? Um, you know, fear, worry, all come up in the future. The, the cool thing is, is that fear and worry and pressure don't come up in the present moment. So uh, how do you deal with this and work with this so that you can live happily in this present moment? Well, I find writing stuff down helps, getting that worry out of your head and onto the page so you can see the structure of your day um, if you don't like the idea of the word structure um, writing it down goal setting you don't have to think of it like that you can think of it as a compassionate way to manage your brain on paper and that's what i tend to do i tend to know that i get worried if it's all in my head i worry that i'm going to forget it so I compassionately put it on paper so that I can know that it's there and I don't have to worry. I say that to my kids all the time. I'm just going to write that down or else I'll forget. And I and that causes me to live in the future. Worry, 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 stress, 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 anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. So this is my practice is to bring myself back to the present moment. And here in this present moment, I know that my list is there. I just have to look, see what I'm going to do next or what my next activity is, or be centered in my heart. Where am I at right now? So I hope this helps you on your mindfulness journey, and have a fabulous day.